right, well, welcome to the webinar. Uh, I'm going to speak on how to create a webinar that sells and fill it with Facebook ads. And so really tonight, we're gonna to go through um, a lot in the next hour. We're gonna go through um, the Facebook ad campaign that I created to fill the webinar. We're going to go through the actual Facebook ad results that we got. Uh, and then we're gonna go through um, the actual webinar that we presented. And I'm gonna go through the structure of that. I'm going to give you lots of resources and look, hopefully by the end of tonight, you guys are going to be able to um, be confident whether webinars are the right thing for you. Okay. Uh, and so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to um, use my iPad for a while and then we'll come back to the computer. So um, let, let's start. So if you look here, I've been showing this for the last few weeks. It's called the marketing roadmap. And this is really the last six years of my life running Facebook ads and creating campaigns and working with lots and lots of businesses, marketing teams. I've worked with digital agencies, helping them do what I do. I work with lots of business owners. And this is kind of um, what I've distilled everything down to, to be successful online. Uh, and we're going to talk about a, a part of this roadmap tonight. So I'll just go through it very quickly with you. The first step, typically you want to get traffic, okay? So this is all about traffic. And you can use Facebook or you can use uh, LinkedIn. You can use um, Instagram. You can use Google Ads. Uh, then once you get the traffic, you have to drive them to your website. Uh, and then when you want to have do is have a, a lead magnet where you can capture, okay? It's where you capture their contact details because once you capture the contact details, you now own the relationship, okay? And that's very important. You don't want someone to come to your website and bounce off because then you can have no more control. Uh, the next step is all about nurture. So this step here is about nurture. And this is where you nurture people until they're ready to make a buying decision. And that's when you get to this stage, which is all about convert. Okay. So if you look here, we have a few things going on. We have traffic. Uh, we have capture. We have nurture. And then we have convert. Okay. So tonight, what we're going to talk about um, with this webinar functionality is a few. Okay. We're going to talk about Facebook. We're going to talk about how Facebook helps you uh, attract. We're going to talk about uh, capturing like a lead. The webinar is like a lead magnet. So you capture their contact details. And we're going to talk about nurture. What is great about a webinar is it does all of these things at once. It helps you nurture the client in that one hour. Kind of like what we're doing now. <laughs> I'm nurturing you. I'm getting you from someone who um, knows a little bit to someone who's ready to buy. Someone who's kind of a cold prospect, a warm prospect around Facebook ads and kind of warming you up so you're ready to make a buying decision or whatever that may be, okay? And then finally, it also helps you convert. Webinars are amazing because normally um, the, the activities you do is one of these four. That either it's a Facebook ad, okay? Or it's a lead magnet that captures or it's a video that nurtures or it's a Facebook ad in the funnel that nurtures or a phone call that converts right? Or if it's a Zoom call that helps you convert and close the sale. A webinar helps you do all four of those things at the same time. And that's why I love webinars. Now, are they easy to do? Uh, no, there's a, lot, there's a lot to it, okay? But when you get it right, uh, you can do very well. So one of the things uh, Russell Brunson has preached, who has um, run the chat, if you've heard of Russell Brunson from ClickFunnels, just say yes or no. Um, Russell Brunson teaches that if you get a great webinar and you present that webinar every single week, once a week for 52 weeks, at the end of those that time, you will be amazing at it. You will make lots of sales uh, and you'll be so good at presenting that you'll be able to, um, uh, you know, every time you have a webinar, you'll be able to make sales or get people to book an appointment with you. And so he did that in growing ClickFunnels. Uh, the first year of ClickFunnels, he did it about 100 times, the webinar, and he grew it to, I think, $10 million. Um, so I'm going to show you how I've done this for a client. Uh, his name is Russell Brunson, Vlad. So Russell Brunson, and he's written a great book. And I might as well tell you now, the book I'd recommend you, if you want to learn about funnels, the book I would recommend you read is called, if we just go here, 
Um, it's called Expert Secrets. So this is probably the best book ever written around um, creating a webinar. So everything that you find in here tonight, I didn't invent a lot of it. Uh, it's not all in this book, but I was able to uh, put it together with a whole lot of other stuff and then run this webinar. And I learned a lot of what I do from uh, Russell Brunson's book, Expert Secrets. Yeah, Alfred, that's a really good question. Um, Dot Com Secrets is the first book in the series. Expert Secrets is the second book. And uh, you can see the first book here. Uh, oh, I can't draw on this, that's a bummer. But the first book is Dot Com Secrets and Expert Then Traffic. Uh, Expert Secrets is probably the best out of all of them. Um, okay, so Alfred, what you're saying is, is it easy to record a webinar for repeated use? Yes, you can. But the problem is if you record, a, if you do a webinar once and then record it and then just try and drive traffic to it, um, you don't really do that well because the first time you do a recording, it's the worst time you'll ever do it. Um, like today, I just, this is, I've just made this presentation up and I'm doing it. This will be the worst time I ever do it. The 10th time I do it, I'm going to be pretty amazing. And the 50th time I'm going to be incredible. And so the whole idea with a webinar is don't do what all the gurus are telling you to do. Record a webinar five or six times, then um, record it and then automate the process where you drive traffic. If you do that, you get much less conversions. You, If you've got lots of money, you can drive lots of traffic and without having to work, you can get more conversions, but the conversion rate is very small. The best way to do webinars is to work hard. And that is do one a week and do it every week. Keep driving traffic to it and get really good at it. I'm going to show you how I did that uh, for a client of mine. All right, any other questions? Okay, so let's go back. Uh, okay, so this is the, the marketing roadmap. This is the marketing roadmap. And uh, we're gonna work on kind of all the parts of it. Last week, we worked on a part of it. The week before we worked on a different part. And next week we're working on this part here. That's next week. I'll show you that presentation before we go. All right, so let's get stuck into it. So here's the webinar funnel that I built for my client. I wanna show you uh, how it worked. So we had, um, uh, let's just have a look here. We had 1,400, oh, that's not a good color. I'm trying to get a color that's uh, not the color that's on there. We had 1,407 people sign up for the webinar. So sorry, click the ad. So 1,407 people click the ad. And let me give you a bit of background on this client first. Um, this client, um, this client uh, sells a coaching program. I'm just having a look because I can see that my video has frozen. Has my video frozen for you guys? Um, is everything okay still? Just say yes, if everything's good, if the audio is good, if the video is good. Ah, frozen. Great. All right, let me just do something. Um, is the screen still good? Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stop this iPad. I reckon it's the iPad. So stop share. Yep. And then I'm going to share again. Technology, hey? Always get you. <laughs> Okay, so let's just, uh, oh, I've got Zoom open and I've got Zoom webinar open. Let's close that down. Okay, so let me just share my screen. Just tell me again, is everything still frozen? Yeah, my video is frozen. Let me just turn my video off. All right, I'll just turn the video off for a while. Screen is okay. All right, so just have a look at the screen. I, I guess the video is fine if the video is off. Um, it should say marketing roadmap accelerator on the on my screen at the moment. Can you guys see that? Okay, good. All right, and you can hear me. So all is good. Let's keep going. You're not going to be able to see me, which is very disappointing for me because um, 
uh, I kind of look at myself <laughs> when I do it and it helps me engage. So, all right. So um, what was I saying? I've totally forgotten what I was saying. Sure, I'll, I'll see if you guys were paying attention. So tell me, what was I speaking on? Oh yeah, uh, thank you. Okay, so let's get back into it. Um, we were here. All right, so let's swap the screens over. Okay, so we're here. So basically, um, I can't point now, but if you look on the left, 1,407 people click the ad. I was telling you about the client. Okay, so this client sells a $5,000 program to coaches and they help coaches learn how to become a coach and they get accredited with um, the ICF. And so um, it's $5,000. It's someone who wants to change careers, leave their job and become a coach. And that's who we're targeting on Facebook, okay? And so, um, so 1,407 people click the ad. 434 people actually registered for the webinar. So out of the 1,407, I think, um, about 800, yeah, 407 hit the page and then 434 actually signed up for the webinar. Now, out of the 434, 108 showed up for the webinar. Okay, so normally there's a 25% show up rate for the webinar. And so that's probably what's average. It used to be 40%, but now it's only 25 because people are just, you know, they're, they're, they're used to webinars. They're not as you know, exciting as they used to be. Um, and so we got exactly 25% turn up rate. Out of the show ups, we had 34 people book a triage call. Now, this is the phone call that my client will get on and he will then have one meeting with them and then move them to a second meeting. And that second meeting is where he sells them the $5,000 program, okay? And so out of that, we then made six sales. So 34 meetings, six people sold. And there's more sales coming out of this at the moment. He, he runs a course every month. And so we, we went live with a course and then he's, he's going live with another one. Now, um, six sales came out of this and this was in a four week period as well. Um, but we were running other campaigns that also brought sales in. So he has 15 per class. So in this particular campaign, he invested $5,575 into Facebook and made $32,000 back from Facebook. Now, can I just say to you guys, like some of you might look at those numbers and think, whoa, that's huge. Can I just say webinars, um, you need to understand how webinars work, okay? Because webinars are the number one thing you can do to actually build credibility quickly. You gotta think about this. These people had no idea who he was before they click that ad. And no idea about his company. His company is actually a startup. It's only been going for six months. Um, but within two to four weeks of seeing that ad, six of these people had actually purchased a 5,000. This is all in US dollars as well. So that 32,000 is more like 43 Australian, 43,000 Australian dollars. Um, so they had actually bought it. Now, within those 434 people who registered for the webinar but didn't show up, we are now mining that and calling them and sending them more ads and emailing them and nurturing them. And he'll have a lot more sales out of those 434 people. So that's six sales within the first four weeks. So does that make sense? Um, Darren says, who was the lady in the ad? Now the ad, can I just say this image is probably the most, um, the best image I've ever used on Facebook. Okay, and um, uh, that's a secret. You can, do you want me to tell you where I got it from? Because then you're all gonna copy me. But if you, if you tell me, I'll, if you wanna know, I'll tell you. But anyway, it's the best image I've ever used. I've used it in many different industries. Can you tell me why you think um, the image is so successful? So out of all the images I've done in six years, this is the most powerful image, okay? Do you know why? It's the lady. Yep, it's a lady, yep. Anything else? Okay, I'll help you. Um, it's because she looks powerful. This is, this is my interpretation, this is what I think. It's because she looks really powerful. Um, men like to look at women on, 
you know, on Facebook ads. It's just the way men are made <laughs> and they like to click ads with women on it. Um, we only ever do respectful ads with respectful images of women. Um, so I, I don't like, you know, those kind of ads. I'm not, it's not part of my nature to run ads that are disrespectful. Uh, women love to click on ads of women who are 10 years younger than them. And so if you look at your demographic, you have to get an ad with a woman that's about 10 years younger because all of us think we're younger, right? I don't feel my age. I still think I'm probably 15 years younger. Um, and then finally, she's powerful. Like if you look at her, the way she's sitting, it just says I'm powerful. And so men love it, women love it. Um, and, and so that's why it's so popular. And she looks sophisticated. She looks like a businesswoman. There's so much to that image, okay? Um, you can look at the landing page, nothing special. It's actually quite ugly, the landing page. Your landing page doesn't have to be beautiful. You Zoom just like we're on today for the webinar. Uh, and, and that's how it worked, okay? So let me show you the actual Facebook ads campaign. Any questions about what you're seeing right now? Who thinks that's a pretty good deal if you could spend $5,000 and make $32,000? Who think that's pretty good? Okay, can I just tell you something? Let me tell you how I did this. So those 108 people, I didn't do one webinar. I was doing three webinars a week because we only had a three week period uh, because we were running out of time. And this was a test. This wasn't even us doing a great job. We were just testing it. And so basically what I did is Australia and, the, and I presented this webinar for the client. I'm in Australia, the clients are in America. So I would do a Monday at 12 o'clock. I would run the webinar. I would run one on Wednesday at 12 o'clock and in America, that was like 7 p.m. at night. It went from 6 to 10 p.m. at night on the east, west, and middle of America. Um, so I'd do it, and I'd do it Friday at 12 o'clock. So that was Sunday night for their time. It was Tuesday night their time and Thursday night their time. Three a week for three to four weeks, mate. I got so good at this webinar. You know, I've got to say, the first uh, webinar or two, uh, first webinar, no one turned up. No, actually, the first webinar, people turned up and I was using Zoom for the first time and it crashed. Oh, no, actually I was using Webinar Jam. Can I give you some advice? Never use Webinar Jam. I'll never use it again. I had all these people turn up, it crashed. I couldn't get it working. Um, the second webinar, I used Zoom for the first time and have a technical problem. I couldn't present again. So the first two webinars were just totally a mess. I lost all the money, okay? Um, and then from the third one, it started, we, the tech worked, okay? So um, I was doing three a week, do you know the last few webinars, I was so good at it. I presented so well. I understood the audience. I knew when I asked questions that what they would respond. I, every time I did the webinar, I changed it. I, I looked back and I thought, okay, well, that worked. Um, and I changed it and I kept changing it. Okay, what I'm going to do is put my uh, video back on. And uh, if uh, it starts to, you know, seize up, then I'll turn it off again. All right. So, um... So that's it, I was doing three times a week. For small ticket items, say a book where royalties are small, is the investment in proportion with anticipated sales? Yeah, I wouldn't do a webinar for a small book, for an ebook. no way. You have to have something significant. It has to cost you. Um, now, can I just say why it cost this client a lot as well is because we had a last minute rush and we were just throwing money at it, okay? We, we're, we're about to launch it again and we are gonna be much more uh, disciplined in what we were doing, okay? Uh, and so the cost per, so instead of spending the 5,500 to get 32,000, I'm confident we'd only have to spend three, okay? But we were just rushing to get it done. But still, you still need a high ticket item for webinars. You need to sell something at least $1,000. You can do 500, like I know people who do 500, but you can't, it can't be a $20 thing. It's got a thing. Now, if it's less than $2,000, you can sell it on the webinar, and then people will just sign up. If it's more than 2000, you have to sell it off the webinar. You have to get them to book a call. And on that call, that's when you um, sell the product, uh, the service, okay? Alfred, let me know if I've answered that question for you. Okay, so now I wanna show you the Facebook ads campaign. This is where it gets interesting. Um, let me just get Chrome up. Okay. So here we go. Now you should be able to see my Facebook ads account. Who can see the Facebook ads account? Just say yes. Yeah, can you use a webinar to sell your services as a consultant? Definitely. I think it's awesome. I do it all the time. Um, selling web, selling my services as a webinar, yeah. Um, you would basically, I mean, 
I'm a marketing consultant. I have a marketing coaching program. Um, and I keep, I keep, you keep seeing it here. Like if you look here, this is the coaching program I got and I am a marketing agency and I'm running a webinar. And the reason I'm running it is because I get lots of clients from people like you that turn up and they like what I do and they become clients. So it's perfect for consultants. Darren, what's the program that you're showing? Uh, use this information on iSlides Prezo. Oh, okay. So at the moment I'm using Keynote, right? But when I was on the iPad, I was using GoodNotes. It's amazing. And I've just got to fix up what's going on with my computer because it slowed everything down. But I use that for everything. When I do my video tutorials for my coaching program, I use GoodNotes and I just take a screen, like I just record the screen of the iPad. So I've got an iPad here, an iPad Pro, and I just draw and it's so it's amazing. Okay. Uh, okay. All right, see you, Alfred. All right, so, um, okay, so let me show you here. Here's the numbers, okay. Um, okay, so here's the campaign here. Uh, this is the campaign. You can see that we spent $5,575. Uh, let's just go, there's three things we were looking for here. Number one, um, the first thing you can look at is leads. We've got 434 leads. The average cost per lead was $12.85 per lead, okay? That's not bad, that's pretty good uh, for a webinar sign up. Uh, and when I was doing the webinars, I would have about 10 people on the webinar at a time, okay? So you don't need to have masses amounts of people on the webinar. Uh, you just need 10 and now that 10 people stay and you kind of spend time with them and they trust you and uh, you end up um, uh, you know, making sales. Uh, if you look at the click-through rate, it means how many people click the ad every time it was shown 100 times. So 1.1% of people click the ad when it was shown 100 times. Uh, normally, we go for a 1% click-through rate. Anything more than that says the ad is good. So this ad was good. Okay. Um, we've got 1,407 clicks. Um, if you look here now, triage calls book. So this is anyone who clicked the ad and then booked a triage call after the webinar. And we record that in Facebook. So 34 people. Um, and then this is a discovery call. So these are the ones that actually booked a discovery call, which is the long version um, from clicking the ad, which is the one where he sells it to them. So you can see these stats are pretty good. Um, let me know if you've got any questions about this campaign. I'm just showing you how we broke that down. So this is the, yeah, the, the objective for this was conversion, definitely. Now you can see all the ad sets. So each ad set is a different audience. So we showed it to people who were Harvard's business, liked Harvard's, Harvard Business Review, who were aged between 30, 30 and 64. TED Talks, this is a lookalike based on my clients. So um, I worked with him and because he was a really good client of mine, um, you know, we did a lookalike. So I imported my client list into Facebook, but I didn't show ads to those people because I didn't want to we created a lookalike audience. So we said, what's 1% of the US population that look just like my clients? And um, Facebook got 2.3 million people and uh, we showed ads to them, okay? Um, these are people who opened and submitted a lead form from another campaign we ran with him. We ran a lead magnet campaign with an ebook and anyone who opened or submitted, we then showed an ad to them. Um, this is ICF coaching. This is his client list here to all the people in his list. And this is 1% lookalike on people who are in his list. He has a list of about 2,000 people. And we said to Facebook, what's 1% of the uh, population of America that look just like um, the people in his list? And it gave us, and you can see here are the results. So out of the people that look like people in his list, we got 270 leads. Of people from his list who are already in the list, 37 of those people signed up. And you can see that's quite cheap, $7 to get these people signed up. People who opened up a lead form in the last 90 days, only one person, $55. The lookalike on my client list was set 47, and that's $14. Uh, people who like TED Talks, 70 people at 14, and then Harvest Business Review, only nine people signed up. And that makes the total. All right, any questions so far? Um, there's other things I could show you, but I don't think any of it is that important. Um, you can see how much we spend on each. 
and let me show you the ad. So if you click here, any other questions while you, while we wait? Um, let's have a look here. So how many leads, look at this. So see this, see this image here that I said was awesome, 205 leads off that image. It's amazing. Um, let's click this ad and then let's go to the ad. I'll just show you the ad very quickly. Any other questions about the Facebook ads campaign? All right, well, it is slowing up a little bit. Okay, so here's the news feed. So I'm just gonna open the ad up on Facebook and we'll just have a look at it very quickly. Okay, any other questions while we wait for this? You had a column called triage. Is that a standard column you can select? No. So where it says triage call, and where it says um, discovery call booked, they are custom columns that I created. So I created them. Um, I added them to my website, to the website, and um, I added them into Facebook. So if we just scroll down here. And so they are called custom events. And custom events are very powerful when you're tracking other things other than just leads. Um, so here's the ad here. So you can see this image is, is quite amazing. Um, just when it comes to eye catchy, so it just catches people's attention. Um, there's a beautiful image with the colors and that kind of thing. So um, it's really important when you have an ad that you have an image that grabs people's attention. Um, the image doesn't have to relate. Like how does this image really relate to four steps to becoming a coach? It really doesn't relate that much, but the 80% of the reason someone clicks on the ad is because the image stops them and then they read the title. So first they'll read the title. So that 80% of the reason is they stop us because of the image, then they'll read the title. And if they're really interested, then they'll read this. Otherwise they'll just click. Okay. Uh, did you use a lead form or conversion ad? Um, we used a landing page. So I don't love lead forms. Lead forms are good. Lead forms make you feel good because you get lots of leads. Okay. But they're very poor quality leads and typically they don't convert. What I tend to do a lot of times when my clients really need sales is we use a landing page. Um, the landing page is really hard for people to sign up on. And if they do end up signing up, they're pretty keen, okay? So, so the reason this is all slow is because of the computer, but you can see here, um, the landing page is normally much faster than this. Um, they click here and then they have to actually fill in their details and type their phone number in. It's a lot of work. That's why the leads cost more, but you know, they're better quality. Okay. All right, so that's the Facebook ad. So let's go back to the presentation. Let's see what's next. Um, the ad, the ad, okay. I'm oh, sorry, the webinar. So let me go through the webinar with you. Um, okay, so here's the webinar. So let me just tell you something about this webinar. Um, I wrote the webinar, I presented the webinar, I marketed the webinar, my client was just too busy. He was so busy on the phone closing the deals, he couldn't do anything else. And I got to, I got frustrated with him and I said, look, um, Kevin, I'll do it for you. And so I did the whole thing. I wrote the thing uh, really quickly. I then put the ad up, I presented it three times a week for three or four weeks and we got the results. Um, I want to show you now why this webinar works. Now, I just want you to know that the webinar I'm doing tonight is not based on this methodology. I'm here tonight because I run the Facebook marketing meetup and I do this to give back to the community. I don't really do this to make sales. Um, I'll tell you a bit about my course later and you'll learn a bit about me, but um, I don't do it. If I wanted to make sales, I would use this methodology, okay? Because um, this methodology I'm about to show you is what helps convince people that what you're offering, they have to get. And if you're going to do a webinar 
a little bit like tonight where you just give value and you give value and you give value and you help and you help and you help. Typically, most people won't buy on that webinar because what happens is there's no reason for them to buy. They just say, well, that's great information. That's awesome information. Thank you, Marlon, for that information. And they go away and they say, well, I'll just try and do it myself. Um, but when you run this style webinar that I'm about to show you, you basically make them believe a couple of things or help them believe a few things. Um, the first thing you have to get them to believe is that there's, there's a big idea. There's a big idea that um, they need to believe. Um, they need to believe that there's a big idea and a big shift they need to make. That's the first thing. Secondly, they need to believe that what you have to offer, they need in their life to get the changes they need to make, right? They have to believe in the, it's called the vehicle, that the thing you're offering, they actually need it, right? Secondly, they have to believe that they have the ability to do it if they move ahead with you, that they're not going to hold themselves back, okay? That is very, very important for them to believe. And then thirdly, um, what they need to believe is that there's no roadblocks. There's no one holding them back. Their wife's not going to hold them back. Their husband's not going to hold them back. Uh, Donald Trump isn't going to hold them back. Their friends aren't going to hold them back. So that's called an external belief. So there's, there's three beliefs. They have to believe that what you are offering can get the result. They have to have get over an internal belief, an internal belief that they're not going to hold themselves back, that they have what it takes if they do the course, if they sign up with you. That they, And then thirdly, they have to believe that nothing else is going to hold them back externally to them. It's not going to be the government, the economy, COVID. Okay. And when you get them to believe those three things, then you have someone in a position where they're open to actually buying what you have to offer. If you don't get them to those three points, no one will buy from you ever on a webinar. And believe me, I've done many webinars where at the end of it, I've got off and I've been really upset, really down. I was so excited. I gave my heart. I gave everything and no one bought. You know, no one bought at all. And it's really upsetting. But I just didn't convince people, right? So I'm going to show you tonight in this format how you actually sell stuff, okay? Now I can tell you we sold, like, there were six people that paid 5,000 US dollars each to buy. Um, and that was in a four week period. That, that's pretty good. Okay. Uh, and next time we do it, we'll do even better because the presentation's better. The ads are better. You know, it'll just scale from there. Okay. So here's the presentation. The presentation is this, the three steps to becoming a coach, take back control of your career and double your income and love what you do every day. So that is an outcome statement. I, that's how I got them in. Because when someone saw that statement, they said, wow, they, he understands me. They understand me. I want to take back control of my life, you know, or take back control of your career. You know, COVID is here and COVID is upside down. I'm about to be fired and I'm working from home. I want to double my income. I want to earn more money. And you know what? I want to love what I do every day. And you know what I told them? I told people in the webinar, um, I, I, then, I then go through and say, who is it for? Okay. If you fit into one of these three categories, you should stay. And I said, if you're a business owner, if you're an employee wanting to leave and you think your boss is an idiot, <laughs> if you're a manager and you're wanting to coach your team and go up the corporate ladder, it's for you. Um, then this is really important. I just told them what my, um, what my goal was. And my goal for you today is that the, I want to show you that the only way for you to grow your income, love your job and help others is to become a professional coach. And the best way to learn the skills and launch a career is with ICF coaching. That's very explicit. And I'd say to them, at the end of it, you be the judge if I've convinced you, okay? The other thing I'd say to them is I believe coaching is the only career in the world where you can actually have these three things, where you can have control, you can have a great income. Well, let me say that again, where you can have freedom, to have freedom of lifestyle, you can have a great income, number two. And number three, you can love what you do every day and help other people. I said charities help you do the last one, but they don't give you much money. You know, um, finance helps you make lots of money, but you work your butt off. 
but coaching is the only profession where you can have all three and you can have all three simultaneously. So that there is the big belief, right? I've just given them the big belief that they have to overcome. Do they believe that if they become a coach that they can um, have freedom of lifestyle, have a great income and um, what was the third one? Have a great income and um, help people and love what you do, okay? That was my goal for the webinar. And everything I did from that point on was trying to convince them that that is true. Now, I actually believe it because I am a coach. I have a marketing agency and I, and I have a coaching business. I love the coaching. Like the marketing agency I do for money, but the coaching I do for the love of it. Okay, and the money's good and you know, everything else. So I actually got this for myself, so I'm not making it up. Then what I do is I now need to establish credibility. So tell me guys, are you guys all following still? <laughs> you're still all there? Someone just say, yes, I'm here still. I feel like I'm talking to myself. Okay, you're there, Blaine. Okay, then what I need to do is now I've established the big, um, the big idea, okay? Love what you do, um, have great money, help people. Big idea, is that what you want? Okay, I've established that. Now I've got to build credibility. So now I tell my story very quickly. Now I know you've seen webinars, there's all these American gurus that go and tell stories, but I'm a, a bit more genuine than them. I don't want to be like that guy. I just tell a real life story. And I told the story about, um, about how I was a sales and marketing manager for 12 years and how I learned how to, um, how to coach in that role. So what happened is I actually had, um, a task to grow a boot camp. I had six weeks to grow a boot camp to get 10 people to sign up for $10,000 each. It's $100,000. I had six weeks to sell it. It was brand new, no credibility. And I did it. I did it so well that I won the Microsoft Partner Award. And that's me with the CEO of Microsoft in Australia. I won the Partner Award because they said we were the most innovative company um, in Australia for that year. And it's a great story. It builds credibility. But I also say to them, part of that process, I actually coached because I signed these 10 people up and we took over their life for three months and they did jobs and they were pumping information into them and helping them become a programmer in 12 weeks, very high stress. I was kind of the coach for them because they come to me because I took their money and they're like, Marlon, I'm stressed and this isn't happening well. And I, I became their coach and I loved it. And that's where the seed of coaching was planted in me while I was a sales and marketing manager. And then what happened is... I then left that job after 12 years. I loved the job and I left it. I wanted to start my own business and uh, I did it for my kids. Um, but I found out there's lots of competition and you know, you can get so much done in India and prices were dropping and I was building lots of Facebook ad funnels, but I just didn't like my business, okay? I just really struggled in my business. I actually hated it at the beginning because I was working harder than I ever worked before. I, I wasn't getting paid the money I was getting paid at the corporate job. And, uh, but I loved helping people. And I thought back for the time when I was doing fire boot camp and I was coaching and I thought that's when I was happiest. I felt unhappy and trapped in my business. So I decided to combine the two and I started to coach people in marketing because that's what I really loved. And I started a coaching program and now I love what I do while making a difference and earning a great income. Can you see the time? Can you see how I just tied that story, just tied the big idea into me personally. And that's why I'm here speaking to them. Does that make sense? Give me a yes or give me an amen if you get it. Because that was good. Like if you guys really understand what I just said to you and how I just tied that together, you guys will kill it on webinars. And that was genuine. This isn't like, you know, I really don't like the gurus, you know, um, I just don't like the style. I think, I hope you feel that when I said that, that was realistic. That was my story. I really believe it. And so I think you need to be genuine when you do this, but see the tie-in. Now you can do that with bath soap. You can, there's a, there's a great um, story. A girl that is a ClickFunnels devotee, like she, she worked, she's, she's done all the ClickFunnels stuff and she's got a story. Um, her name's Jamie. Uh, and if you type into, um, if you type into uh, YouTube, Jamie, her name is Jamie, and uh, the five-minute webinar, so Jamie, five-minute webinar, and Funnel Hacker, okay? She spoke at that conference, 
And she did a very similar thing to what I just did then, told her story. It was so powerful, so powerful. And she sold soap on a five minute webinar. She converted this whole webinar to five minutes and she was almost bankrupt. She had nothing and business was going down. Um, and within six weeks, they sold $100,000 worth of this soap. And in 12 months, they sold a million dollars using this kind of storytelling, okay? Okay, so Robert, that was genuine. I stepped into your shoes when you shared your story. Yeah, and that's what you've kind of got to do. Okay, so let's keep going. So now I've established credibility and I've actually linked my life to why I'm here selling. Because I have to say to these people, look, I don't work for ICF Coaching. So they've changed their name to Sapphire Coaching. But I said, I don't work here. But this is why I'm talking to you because of my experience. I am a coach. I have lived this stuff. Okay, so then what we do is I then say, look, and this is why I do it. I do it for my family because my kids are a bit older. I get to spend more time with them. I was traveling four hours a day when I was working in the corporate world. It was awful. Um, okay. And now I do the transition, the transition into today. After 10 years, I've discovered the hard way to become a coach. And if you're struggling to make a decision to become a coach, a lot of these people want to be coaches, but they haven't made a decision yet. This is probably why. And now I tell them all the things that are going through their head. They're, what's holding them back is, do I have the skills to coach people? How will I coach them? Will I make enough money? How will I get clients? How long will it take to replace my income? Is the coaching industry growing or is it declining? And I say, I'm going to answer all of that in this webinar. Okay. And I'm going to show you how to take the first step to become a coach. So what's the first step? We book a discovery call at the end of this webinar. I'm going to show you how to take the first step. Okay. I'm going to show you how to become a coach. Just how to take the first step. And that is the important thing. I do not teach them on this webinar the how. I teach them the what and the why. What is it all about and why it's important? I do not teach the how. If you teach the how, then you won't make sales because people think, well, I can do it. Okay? So again, today, I'm not using this format for you guys. I'm just, you're part of my meetup. I love you guys and I'm here to give. Um, but I would never do this if I'm trying to sell you something seriously. Okay? I'm giving way too much away. Okay, so then you distill everything down into three different secrets, okay? And the three secrets, they map to the three things I told you before. One is they believe in the vehicle. Do they believe they have what it takes? And do they believe that nothing's going to hold them back? And secret one is do they believe in the vehicle? So this is where I say choose your coaching style, how to choose the best way to service your clients and earn the income of your dreams. That's where I'm teaching them. The money's good. If you can get it right, the money, the vehicle's good. That's what that secret is breaking down that false belief. It's a false belief, okay? Number two, the second one is, do I have what it takes? Do I have what it takes to become a coach? Belief two is become certified. How to guarantee you can deliver the results your clients need and become one of the top coaches in the world. That's becoming certified with the ICF. That is the second false belief that they don't have what it takes of breaking that false belief down. And the third false belief is, is there anything else going to stop me? My wife, my parents, COVID, my friends. And this is where I'm breaking that false belief. Win your first clients. How to start your coaching practice with a host of new clients that want to work with you. A lot of people, when they start coaching this, they say, how will I get my first clients? Is that external thing? Okay, I'm a coach, but I don't have clients. How do I get clients? I don't know. That's the false belief that we have to break that something's going to hold them back external to their inward nature. Okay. Does that make sense? Okay. And then all I do is I take the first one, choose your coaching style, how to choose the best way to serve each your clients and earn the income of your dreams. And now I just, this is where I go into detail into this particular one. Okay. So I'm just going to stop this uh, video again. And we'll start it up and there I am. Okay, I'm getting used to this. Okay, so now I give them a few, a few facts about the industry. Because remember, I'm breaking the false belief down that the vehicle, what I'm teaching them is actually what they should choose. So now I'm saying, look, the, the industry is amazing. It's $15 billion. Um, it's growing. 7.5 billion of that is in America alone because they're all Americans. Um, it's expected the market should grow. So I give them all these facts. And then I give them some case studies. And these case studies are based on people that I know. These are people that I personally know. Uh, 
oh, sorry, before I do that, I talk about the problem with business and the problem with business, you know what, I am, I can't believe I've been presenting this in this um, the whole time, this way the whole time. Um, yeah, so the problem with business is that I say to them, hey, the problem with business is that when you have a business, you got to sell your service and then you got to deliver the service. And the delivery is really time consuming. And that's what takes up a lot of the time. I give them some examples. I say coaching is really easy because the delivery is nowhere near as hard as normal business. Um, I say you can leverage your time with coaching. I'm telling them it's a great lifestyle. You know, I give case study how much this guy makes and how much I make. <laughs> I use myself as an example because I have a coaching course. Um, I use this guy as an example. I talk about each one of these. I'm breaking down those beliefs saying, yep, if these people can do it, they can do it. Um, I talk about industries that they can coach in. So, and I'm trying to say, are you into health, fitness, marketing? You can turn all of that into a coaching business. Okay. And I, I, give, I teach them a little bit about how to choose. I'm actually going to go back to this method here. I'm just going to go back to this one here because I think it's probably going to be quicker. Yeah, so, so then I, whoops. Um, and then I talk, I introduced the International Coaching Federation, how we create a certification and get you certified really quickly and I build credibility there, okay? And at the end um, of this section, I tell them how the certification helps them stand out and um, I wrap it up. Imagine if you knew 100% you could get results that turn your clients into raving fans. Imagine if you had what it takes to actually be a good coach. And then I go to the next point. Now I'm not gonna go, through all of these points because we'll be here all night. But the next one, we do the same thing, okay? So basically I go, okay, now here is um, point two. How to win your first client. This is point three, I've skipped a lot. <laughs> so this is point three. And then, um, you know, we talk about how will they win their first clients. Um, once you have confidence, you can get your first clients. The rest is a no brainer. Um, I talk about all the different marketing methods that they could use. And I tell them which ones they should start with because I'm a coach and this is the ones I use. Um, I'll show you the one that I love the most and I go through an actual funnel and I'll show them how to build a Facebook ads funnel. All right. And then at the end of teaching the three points, I summarize again. And then I say, and then I say, um, this is the model that works. You want to model what works. You don't want to, um, you don't want to be like the pioneers in the US. They say, you know, you know a pioneer because they're fa with their head facing the ground uh, with arrows in their back, you know, because they were killed um, by the Indians, I guess. So um, you want to model what works. Don't try and forge a new path. What you want to do is you want to follow people who have already forged that path. So I kind of use that to help them understand that, you know, we have a way. And so what I want you to do is have a look at our way. Um, you could do it your way. So this, this one here. Hi Raz, you raised your hand. Is there anything that you need? Um, I say to them, you have two choices. You can do it yourself. And you can see that when you do it yourself, you'll, you could get there, but it'll take you a long time. You'll get very frustrated. You'll waste a lot of resources and you may never get there. Or you can get help and it's the quick, fast way to actually get there. Okay. And uh, then I offer them the next step. Okay. And I, I, I talk to them about how we help them get there. And then I ask them to book a call with Kevin, the owner. And this is what they're going to get out of the call, the value. Okay. So can you see how I took them down a path? I said... This is the big idea that coaching will give you these three things, freedom, um, ability to help people and the income of your dreams. Okay. That's the first thing I try to convince them of that. Then I said, there's three things, myths that you're probably false, false beliefs. You probably have one is you don't believe you can get there because you're in the wrong vehicle. So this is the right vehicle. Um, it's coaching. Uh, and it's the ICF certification. The second one is you don't believe that you have what it takes internally. So this is how you get what it takes, get certificate, certified. And thirdly, the external belief is you might be a coach, but how do you get the clients? 
And so you can see that all of that together gets them to a point where they're thinking now, okay, I'm not just educating and, and teaching and teaching. I'm saying this is the what and the why. Do you want to know the how? And the how is what ICF coaching does. The how is the certification process. So the how is that. You teach the what and the why in the webinar. Okay. Any questions? And there's your time. Ask me any question you like about what I've just told you. This is kind of the wrap up with it. Um, while you're thinking of your questions, let me just tell you one thing. I do want to tell you about my coaching program because I'm very excited about it. Um, and I just want to take five minutes explaining it to you. Remember I showed you the Facebook ads? Remember I showed you the marketing roadmap before? That roadmap I showed you when I circled it at the very beginning, I actually don't have it here anymore because my iPad died. Um, that there is basically what I teach people to do over six months. So I don't believe that you can really transform your business in a six week coaching program. Um, what you need to do if you really want to grow your business is spend six months focusing on it. And I'll build a six month coaching program that doesn't just help you with Facebook ads. It helps you with that whole funnel that I showed you before, how it was, you know, how to attract people with Facebook or Google or, or LinkedIn. The reason we always start with Facebook is because it's cheap, how to capture the, the contact details, build your list, so you can then nurture them through Facebook ads and videos and emails and SMSs and phone calls. We show you the whole strategy and how we do that for our clients. Kind of what I built for Kevin. And then finally, we show you how to close the deals. We show you how to get on the phone call and close the deal. Because when you get someone off Facebook, it's very different to when you get a referral. And so you got you close you close. I shouldn't use the word close, but you help convince them to go with you in a very different way that you do if they're referral. If they're referral, your conversion rate is going to be you know fifty percent, sixty seven percent. If you get someone on Facebook who hardly knows you, it's a different process. And so we help you with those three components. And uh, this program here, I'll, I'll just put this in. You can look at it in your own time. Just keep writing your questions in. You can book it in in your own time. Um, have a look uh, at it. I'll also write in my phone number and then my email. So just copy it out because when you leave this, you're not going to get it when you leave Zoom. So have a look at those three things. Uh, look, I'm pretty proud of this course. This is kind of my life's work. Um, you know, uh, let me just do one more thing. Uh, share. I've got to go back to the iPad. I just have to. <laughs> and the reason is because it's so important that you, um, oh. yeah, here it is. It's so important that you understand the power of this. You know, um, when, when you um, understand how online marketing actually works, you'll realize that um, you realize that it's not as hard as what people will like you to think, but you'll also realize that it is harder than what you think. And if you want to make it work, you have to use a systematic process. And so over the six months, we teach you this systematic process, right? Um, I'm just a bit, it's a bit frustrating that I can't actually just delete everything. Um, but I just want to show you here, I want to show you one more thing before I go. I showed you one component of building a marketing engine online, okay? And I showed you how to do that with a webinar. Now the webinar is something that is advanced. I don't teach that straight up because it is quite advanced. There is a much easier way of doing it. And um, if you look at some of the past videos, if you go to my blog, um, Actually, no, no, let's, um, yeah, no, that's fine. Let me, I won't go to the blog. Can you still see my iPad? Yeah, Vlad, I, oh man, have, yeah, I did paste it in. Let me just um, put my details in the chat. I just sent it to the panelists, but there's no panelists. I'll send it to everyone. Okay, so 
There it is. Um, let me just give you a tip. Um, when we work on this program, the first thing we get you to do is understand your prospect. And uh, when you understand them, you need to understand their pain point. And when you understand the pain point, you need to understand the outcome that they actually desire. And when you do that, all of that goes into your Facebook ad, okay, and into your lead magnet. And so that typically takes a few weeks to understand that stuff. And if you get that wrong, none of this matters. None of that matters if you get this wrong. And so it's so important that we spend time getting the perfect prospect right. Um, the prospect right, their pain and the outcome. If you get that right, then you can craft an ad uh, and then you can get their contact details with a lead magnet. Um, once you get the contact, the, the, the purpose of an ad and a lead magnet like an ebook is to fill your database with as many people as you can. But then the magic starts because getting someone from a lead magnet to a discovery call or to buy your product is actually quite hard. Uh, it's very hard, but what you do is you use a combination of Facebook ads, emails, blog posts, YouTube videos, and social media updates to actually convince people who are in your list to become a client or to actually book in a discovery call. And the way we do that is this, we create one video a week or one video every two weeks or once a month, whatever your cadence is. We create a video and that video we convert into a Facebook ad and we show it in the Facebook funnel on week two. So when someone signs up for your um, ebook, the next or someone hits your website or someone lands on, clicks on an ad, we actually are able then to show them a, a new ad every single week. And so what we do is we create the video and then we, first thing we do is create a Facebook ad and we put it into that long-term funnel. So week one, week two, week three, week four, Every week we're showing a different ad and we build that up slowly. So we record a video, we turn it into a Facebook ad. We then turn it into an email for your long-term nurture email sequence. So once they sign up, they get the first email, the second, the third. Um, then we take the video, we transcribe it and turn it into a blog post. And that's for your SEO. So every week or every two weeks, you're getting a new blog post with a video embedded. Put that video on YouTube. So now YouTube is the second biggest search engine. And um, when you put a YouTube video in a blog post, Google will favor that blog post because they own Google and YouTube. And then finally, we take that video and we push it into a social media. So you put it on Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, you put it everywhere. So can you see how you create one ad, one video, sorry, one video a week, might be anywhere from two to five minute video. And we teach you how to create that video. And then we teach you how to convert it into one, two, three, four, five pieces of marketing material. And then we put it into a funnel. So every week, someone is getting one of these. So if they sign up today, in week one, they get this happens. Then week two, they get that and week three. But if they sign up in January 2021, the day after they sign up, they're in week one, then they're in week two, then they were in week three. So what you're doing here is you're building a, you're building infrastructure in your business, an asset that will grow and that will nurture every single person that comes into your worldview. And who do you show this to? You show it to anyone who goes to your website. Once they land on your website, doesn't matter where they come from, they hit your website, they're now in this funnel. So they're not getting the emails, but they're getting the Facebook ads, okay? Um, anyone that um, is in your email list, we can put them into this funnel and they'll get the emails as well as the Facebook ads. Uh, and anyone that clicks on certain ads, they'll be in this funnel. And anyone who watches, you know, three seconds of any video, they'll be in this funnel. It's so powerful. Yeah, I don't know anyone that's building this kind of infrastructure into a business because everyone wants to do the easy fun bits. They want to do the Facebook ads or they want to show you how to do a lead magnet or show you how to create video or show you how to do a webinar or show you how to do email marketing or show you how to create YouTube videos or show you how to do social media updates. But nobody wants to holistically help a small business put all these components together to build a marketing engine that goes on and on and on. And once you've built it over a six month period, you might have you know, 10 or 15 of these videos, even if you've got 10 of them, 
and Facebook ads and emails. And every time someone drops in your database, bang, they're getting nurtured. And every one of these videos and ads is all asking them to book a discovery call. And then we teach you how to host the discovery call, how to move them into the second one, how to convert them into a client. That's what this program is all about. And so as you can see, I'm passionate about it. It's my life's work. It's, I give you everything. So everything I do in my agency, I give you every worksheet. I give you every video we use. I coach you twice a week, Wednesday and Friday and tomorrow morning we've got our coaching students come in they do the work they watch the videos they get on and then i consult i consult to them we get on and we share screens and i do the work with them i say oh no one's going to click on that ad and i rewrite the ad I, they record their video i watch them and i say you know what you need to turn this way or you you did something wrong with the lighting's not right go re-record it so i teach i impart how to do this i believe that the best person to run your marketing is you if you're a small business owner it's not a marketing agency you can't afford a marketing agency for very long the problem with and even me like i charge four to six thousand dollars to build a funnel and then fifteen hundred to two and a half thousand a month to run that funnel there's only so many you have to be a certain size business to be able to afford that for three to six months okay um and then you got to pay for all your ad spend and you saw that one client he's spending like i don't know he spent about five thousand dollars in in a month so now, the results are good, but most small businesses can't start there. You want to start with $5 a day or $10 a day, and you can build it up. I've got another client I showed you last week. Watch the video from last week. I showed you he's spending $10 a day. He's getting amazing results. Um, I've got another client that's spending $10 a day. He's getting four leads a week. Each lead is worth $15,000 to him. I say he doesn't win every lead, but he only needs like one once a month. He needs to win a client, and he's making amazing money, and he is. He's getting all of Facebook. So what I'm saying is that, and he's doing the program, because when you're a small business, you need your dollar to go further. So what you do is you learn to do this yourself. Yes, it takes an investment, but if you can build an engine, then you can have something that is a skill that you can use if you have another business and another idea and another product. And it really does give you control instead of having to wait on other people to do it for you and, and charge you money. Can I just say one more thing is, and I have an marketing agency, I'm not putting them down. It's just that you need a certain amount of money to work with us. And why I made this course is because I care about the small business owner um, and marketing teams who are paying staff in the business and they're not getting the results. And that's where I also help with this program and we get results. But uh, can I just say that um, the person that cares most about your business is you, not some third party that you pay. They don't stay up at night worrying about your business. You do. And so the most important part of your business is sales. Nothing else. Nothing else. It doesn't matter how good your accounting is. It doesn't matter how good your logo is. It doesn't matter how good your administration is if you don't have work. So the first problem you've got to solve is make sales. Then you've got to deal with the other things. If you don't have enough sales or you want to grow, figure out how to market this road marketing roadmap I've got, I believe is the best thing that I've come up with to help small businesses do that. So, okay, that's enough. You've, you've, you've seen how passionate I am. You've seen the, the uh, marketing roadmap. All I can say is if you have any questions, give me a call. Um, happy to talk to you. I, I have to work with people who really want to do this. Um, as you can see, it's a coaching program. We work together. I um, don't do it for you. And so, when you call me, I actually want to know more about you to see if you're going to be successful. Okay. If I have all the content you're talking about, could you do an audit on my content and see how it can work in this format? I did the Kerwin Ray course. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I, I can, the other thing I do, I do lots of consulting. And so I just charge an hourly rate. We can sit on Zoom. I can go through everything and tell you what I, I think and give you some direction. So, you know, in an hour we can get a lot done. So just give me a call. I'm happy to sit with you. Um, I really care about small business and I work with businesses in different ways. So I have the agency, which is expensive. I have the marketing program, which I think is amazing. $700 a month for six months. It's, it's really cheap. We also call me about it because there's a huge bonuses we give you around your CRM. We give you the best CRM in the world and we give it to you for free for six months. Um, because because I want you to be successful. And when you install that CRM, you get all our funnels pre-built. So you don't have to build funnels. It has SMS, marketing automation, website, funnels, um, uh, 
Calendly, everything built into it. And you get all of our email sequences just installed for you. So you don't have to worry about the tech. You still have to go through and update the text, but it's all my text and you just update and I'll show you how to do it. But that just, that saves like 40% of the work. Um, but yeah, I've got all the same, but <laughs> that, that, is, um, that, that is what the course is about. It's about getting you up to speed as quickly as possible. Okay, oh, the CRM is called Go High Level. Um, and if you are interested in it, I, I recommend you call me. I've got my number there. Uh, I'll tell you the pros and cons, but I'll also give you a much better deal than what they have. I, I, I'm an agency partner. So we add so much more value than just the CRM. All right, guys, thank you. Um, loved it tonight. The chat lit up with so many people um, on the chat and I enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. And so I want to thank you for attending. And if you've got any questions, give me a call. You've got my number. You've got the website you can look at. And um, yeah, I'd love to help you in any way I can or just to chat. So again, you guys spend an hour with me. I'm willing to invest some time with you. So if you want to call me, just call me on the phone tomorrow. I'll chat with you. I'll give you some advice. Um, and then if I can help you, I'll let you know. If I can't, I'll point you in the right direction. I'll tell you who can help you. Okay, guys, anything else? Let me just check this chat one more time. Um, okay all right Vlad see you call me Vlad I said call me last week and you never call me so give me a call I, I won't call you because because I know you're busy so <laughs> call me <laughs> I always have time for you Vlad okay I love to see what you're doing okay okay guys um uh yeah yeah you know I, I love chatting I want to know what you've been up to Vlad COVID's been tough for a lot of people and I love to see how you got through it. Okay, yeah, so hopefully I'll speak to you in the next few days. Okay, guys, um, have a great night. The video should be up in the next day or so on the website. And um, I've got another one uh, next week. It is how to build a Facebook ad campaign, a real Facebook ad campaign from scratch. I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna open up Facebook and we're gonna build a campaign from scratch. I'm, just going to, I'm, going to, I'm going to step through every single thing that I do and explain why I do it, how I do it, and what you know what you should look out for every step. And that is something you never see. You just never see that. Um, agencies don't share this stuff, but I share it with the Facebook marketing leader. Okay. All right. Have a great night. Speak to you soon. Bye.